me stop clapping because yeah so let's get down to business I, I, I was going to incorporate this into my usual video blog the rant but I said no do you know what if you watch that you're probably aware that everything I say in that is not to be taken too seriously there's some serious points but like I say everything I say is not to be taken too seriously but this is what I got to say right now 100% serious so Radko Madrić has been arrested at last wow they found him they didn't know where he was even though he was on some street and people saw him every day but anyway there's probably certain people wondering why am I even making this video blog and obviously you people don't actually know anything about me if you ask that question if you're asking that question clearly you're not a follower and that's cool but I'll just let you know now anyway because if you know about me there's one thing you should know about me and do you know what that is? Sarajevo! Sarajevo is my city. That's how when people get arrested and they have to go on trail to the, to the Hague, they get sick. He's sick. Oh, you're, oh my, you're sick. Can you believe that? Bore him a kurats, brat. Pichku. His son has come out and said that my father is too sick to go on trial. Well, I've got one thing to say to you, my friend. Merzku pichku matinin. Nobody gives a shit. Man, how is he sick? How, how, how do all these tyrants become sick the moment that they have to go on trial? Throw him in trial, if it was up to me, man, there'd be no trial, man. I'd just throw him in a dungeon and let him rot. Yeah, because nobody cares about that shit, man. I know I'm going to get probably several emails, haters' emails from, you know, you numbskulls who actually support this guy. And that's cool. That's alright, man. I don't really give a shit. Like, you can email me and tell me that, um, Whatever, you're probably going to use racial slurs, I guess, as well. That's the, the best, that's the, like, you know, low blow. Go for the low blow. Go for it, man. Go for them low blows. It's all good. Just know this, though. Just know this. You're an imbecile if you do that. You actually, you have no working brain cells in your brain if you actually do that. Because you're brainwashed with bullshit. What you need to do is probably go to the chemist and... Buy some laxatives, because you're full of shit, basically. That's what it comes... I'm not even going to get technical with you. I'm just going to be real. You are full of shit if you do that. Because you've got to be an idiot if you support the actions of idiots, obviously. <laughs> That's just common sense. Like, and if you can't understand that, then it makes you an idiot. In fact, you're a bigger idiot than the person you're supporting. If you follow an idiot... What does that make you? It's like less than an idiot. Like imbecile isn't even a word that can be used for you. Your your brain capacity is either just really small or you're you're possibly just I don't know, man. I, w I wouldn't even want to say brain damaged because that's an insult to people who are actually brain damaged. It amazes me how how a dude like this can turn around and say he's not a criminal. How can you turn around and say you're not a criminal? That's <laughs> number. Yes, no. the, the dude's talking about all right, he's innocent or he's not he's not a war criminal if you're not a war criminal if you're innocent you're an innocent man you're saying you're an innocent man right why did you change your name for like what kind of that's not the actions of an innocent man like you're an enemy of the state okay there are some people who are enemy of the state wrongfully all right that, and that is true but to be honest with you if you're in this is an extreme situation if you're in such an extreme situation as a war crimes right and you're saying that you're innocent then clearly if you he said he did not. He didn't carry out the, these attacks. He, he's not responsible for it. If you're okay, if you are, if you're not hands, your hands went on that. You got no blood in your hands. Yeah? If you literally you're saying you're innocent, you have no blood in your hands. Then there's not going to be evidence against you. Go to court. Why are you hiding? Why are you changing the name? That ain't the actions of an innocent man. You're talking shit. You're full of it, man. That ain't the actions of an innocent man. Because there's some, there's some people who've come out, some certain war criminals who've come out, yeah, and they said that they don't know what genocide is. How can I be convicted of something that I don't know what it is? Okay, so let me explain something to you. So there's some people who don't actually know that the term genocide actually came about because of the Bosnian War. Like, you may not, you might be saying, oh, I'm talking shit, do, do your history. You, do, you don't have to believe me. Don't take my word for it. I'm not asking you to take my word for it. I'm just telling you that the word genocide came about because of the Bosnian War. He doesn't know what genocide is. 
It's like you don't know what genocide is. Let me explain something for you. What happened in, in the siege of Sarajevo is that was genocide. Like that was pure genocide. And let's let's get one thing clear, because there hasn't been a, a, there hasn't been a mass killing like that in, in such a short space of time. That's never happened. Not in, in modern times, in modern times, there has never, there, there hasn't been anything a mass killing in that short period of time like that in, in, the, in the modern, in our generation. That ain't happened apart from this, and that's where the term genocide came from. Do your man Google this man. You can look how oh go in the dictionary. Look at the, when the word genocide entered the English dictionary, and you will see it correlates with the end of the Bosnian War. That's around the time the word genocide enters the English dictionary because the term was kept put together, it came about because of the situation. So don't talk, talk to me that you don't know what genocide is. How do you not know what genocide is? You fucking invented it. You invented the whole concept of genocide. There wasn't such a thing as genocide before the Bosnian War. There wasn't such thing as genocide. So, what the hell are you talking about? Until the war, you guys did what you did and you created this ideology of what genocide is. People couldn't even think of what genocide was before that. I don't even... Man... You're giving... You're, you're like... Hitler's got nothing on you, man. Nah, man. You guys are... You're monsters, man. That's what, You're not even human beings. And that's why, if, like I said, if it was down to me, there'd be no trial. You get thrown in a dungeon and you will let... Be left there to rot, and that's it. I, I wouldn't even like some people are like, yeah, they should just kill the guy. Do you know what? You can't kill the guy because that's an easy way out. If you kill the guy, he don't suffer, man. He's just dead. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he should just be killed. Not because of his family. I don't give a fuck about his family. Like your dad's a dick, basically. So I don't give a fuck. But he shouldn't be killed. He should just be put in a hole somewhere, like with a little. Put in a box, you know what they should do? Put him in a box. Bury the dude alive. That's what I would do. Kill him slowly. Sorry, man. I got no love for you, man. Radko Komagovic is a disgusting animal. Yeah, so, like I say, if you're your support, if you're your support of this guy, Sram Tabilo. Sram Tabilo. What are you doing, man? This is, uh, reading papers and. Man. Fuck all of that, man. Just get on with it. Lock the guy up. Put him in prison. What? You don't need no evidence, man. The evidence is all around. It's all around the country. It's all around the, the, the region. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what, what's the problem here, man? I don't understand what is gathering evidence. Like, you know what happened. That's it. How, how much evidence? There's dead bodies and there's graves. How much? There's, there's videos on YouTube, man. There's videos on the net of them celebrating, they might as well be celebrating, it's like boldly talking about, yeah, but we're now going to invade this place. How is that not evidence? What are you talking about, man? Fix up, fix up, man. Fix this whole thing up, man. Fix up and come proper, man. That's what I've got to say. I'm getting annoyed. I'm actually getting annoyed, so I actually don't want to talk about this no more, to be honest with you. I might just end this right here. Yeah.